Shalom and good morning. Sister Kate here. Welcome back to the channel. <coughs> yeah, always in the morning. I am up and about. I am shooting my um, <coughs> top five things of a simple life video for James and Leah at Philia Ministry and for you all too. And I am, this is version two. In the version one, I had a spot of something right here on my face. I had It was stain or mud or something because I'm helping my daughter work on the avocado. And I rode my four-wheeler up to a location where I could pick this. And you saw in the intro, um, that is Curly Dock. It's going to be part of Pastor and my breakfast. So I came up to pick it and to shoot this video. So my top five. Number one of uh, the benefit of being in this kind of simple life is you're closer to God, or I am. I have more time with God, but the life that Pastor and I live actually depends on God more. We have um, food that we're hoping grows. Uh, he already gave us on this land things that grow like the blackberries and the wild plums. And so we depend on those things to feed us, um, to nurture our animals, we depend on him to guide our ministry and what's happening in our relationship. And without all the input from the outside, um, sort of complicated modern life, we have a lot more time to think, pray, study on our relationship with God. So that's number one. Number two <clears throat> is we are also much closer to the world he created just living here. We have grass. It's, it's hilarious when I take my dogs into the vet or if I take him to Lowe's with me. He doesn't understand concrete or tile flooring. He is only used to wood or grass under his feet. And it freaks him out to go to those places and to walk on that, that surface. Um, <clears throat> yes, we are also exposed to things like the bugs. But we, we feel and hear and smell and see his world every day versus a man-made world. For instance, this morning when I went out to feed the chickens, I spooked a herd of deer who were, you know, no more than 30 feet away from me. And that's something that happens to us often. You hear the birds in my videos. I see the birds and hear them all day. Once spring came, boy, it got noisy here. All day, I hear them and see them. They are part of the life that we are living. So <clears throat> number two is a closer, uh, not relationship, but just physically closer to God's world. Number three is less stress. <clears throat> Excuse me. We don't have stop signs here. We don't have traffic lights. There are no billboards on Shofar Mountain. Um, there's not paved roads, there's not sidewalks, there's gravel roads or just walking on his earth rocks and grass and mud and so on. So there is less input, there's less noise input, there's less visual input into our daily life and because of that we are not stimulated all the time <clears throat> by noises and things and so it's a less stressful life and it allows us to relax more. Um, <clears throat> we have more free time too. And that is all m part of being more relaxed, our everyday life. <coughs> Excuse me, that frog in my throat. <clears throat> Every morning I've got the frog in my throat. <clears> throat> okay, so number four is more time with the people I care about. I have a lot more time with Pastor Joe living this life than I did living in a suburban setting or in the military where the military was taking all of our time. But even in our suburban life, there's constant demand on our time. And right now, we have much more time to spend together. Our relationship is growing because when you're in the military and 20 years go to, goes to the army, that's not necessarily 20 years you can concentrate just on your relationship. So our relationship is better, but we also get to spend more time with people like us, the people in our congregation. We get to spend more time with neighbors. Um, <clears throat> it just allows for deeper 
relationships and also deeper knowledge of ourselves. So we are um, more fulfilled out here in the simple life. And then number five is the decision making. You have more freedom in your simple life with your decision making. And the duck house that I'm building is my prime example of that right now here. Um, I decided that I wanted to make that duck house and because we're in the vicinity of that huge scrap heap, uh, we were able to, or we went ahead and did meeting the person whose land that was on, getting permission to go and get that stuff and then getting the raw materials to build that duck house. And I got to decide that. And I get to decide when I'm going to work on that and how I'm going to build that. And there's no um, specifications that I have to follow and no people who have to come inspect it or okay it or anything. And so I'm also learning skills while I'm putting that deck house together that if it was all regimented, I might not be making at all. So there's a lot of decision making and freedom in the simple life. Um, we do have sort of a schedule to what we do every day, but that schedule runs on our time, not on anybody else's. And so we feed animals and we get water and we do our chores and so on. But it's just, and I say we because it's Pastor Joe and I, but I guess I could say I. I am so much more relaxed, so much more fulfilled, uh, learning things, stimulated in a good way, um, in this lifestyle. The simple life allows a lot of personal growth and it's yeah, freedom. It's just freedom and relaxation and uh, when you compare it to the modern world and all the things that would, demands that would be on our time and decisions we couldn't make and would have to be at the, uh, you know, the behest or the requirements of someone else. And that is part of the stress too, but just, yeah, the decision-making freedom and being in control of things like where our water comes from and how and where our food comes from and how. All of that it really appeals to us. And so those are my top five things about living a simple life. Closer to God closer to his creation, less stress, more time with people we care about, and the freedom. All right, bless you. Thank you guys for answering that poll. I will get to the other topics. I hope this has been fun to watch. I don't, instructional, and I'm going to take those greens down there, and I'm going to make breakfast. All right, bless you. Shalom.